Hi, I'm Carol Jurgensen Sheets, AKA Carol the Coach. And in my 35 years of counseling and mental health therapy, I never thought that I would advocate for a polygraph test to help build the skills and the tools that a sex addict needs for accountability. I kid you not, I never thought that. But what I do know to be true is that sex addicts do need accountability. And if they're in relationship with somebody, if they're in partnership, that polygraph test helps to keep them in line, helps them to make the right decision, and helps them to move forward in their recovery. Now the secondary gain is that it builds trust in the partner. Because for so long she thought that she was going to be duped over and over and over again because she was. And now it's different. A polygraph test is her evidence that he really is working a program. He really has not participated in, in a, at a massage parlor. He really doesn't have an affair partner. Now, I'm not saying they're foolproof. I've had probably five men fail the polygraph tests in my 10 years of doing this. And I've probably had two that duped the polygrapher. And what I got to say is I don't know how they did it, but they later came back and they said I did. And in actuality they did because their wife asked so many inquiring questions that they eventually confessed to some things that they had hidden from the polygrapher. So it's not foolproof, but it really works with the majority of men or women that have to take them. Now, if you really don't believe in a polygraph and you're the partner, I'm going to ask you to participate anyway because it's good for the sex addict to know that he's got to be held accountable. And you may not believe in it, but more than likely he does. So what can you expect from a polygraph test? Well, with a certified sexual addictions therapist or an APSATS therapist, that's a partner sensitive trained clinician or coach, we help the partner to come up with three, five, eight, ten questions for the addict. The polygrapher I use only allows five, and they have to be yes and no, and they have to be fact, not emotional. That means it has to be. Have you visited a massage parlor since the last time you were polygraphed? It can't be, do you love me? Or have you fallen out of love with me? Or are we compatible sexually? It cannot be emotionally charged questions. Because the truth of the matter is, there are probably times that the addict doesn't love you. I mean, I'm in a healthy relationship, and there are times when I say marriage is the institution that holds you together when you fall in and out of love with somebody. When they've done something contemptuous and, and you go, do I want to be married to you? Well, I'm happily married. But there are those times when I shake my head and wonder to myself. And so if I were to be asked, do I love my husband? I would hope that it would go yes. But if I thought for a second about that time that I questioned that, that's enough to fail the poly. But if the questions are, you know, have you participated in this behavior since our last polygraph? That's a yes or a no. Have you lied to me? Although it is a yes or a no, it's not specific enough because most of us minimize, rationalize, justify in a relationship at least once in a while. And that's a lie. 
And so you've got to get very specific with your questions and that's why you need a professional to help you. Then I forward them to the polygrapher. He looks at them ahead of time. He modifies something if he needs to. And then you and the addict go in to meet the polygrapher. Now you don't get to sit in the room if you're a partner, but you do get to meet the polygrapher before and after so that you know who's working with your husband and he can explain any questions before he administers the test. Then my polygrapher would call you back in so he could give you the, um, the exam questions and what they revealed because it'll either say yes, no, pass, or fail, or it may talk about the fact that there was something that indicated activity emotionally with that question. And if that's the case, then you get with your therapist and you ask more questions about that situation. All right. That's the brief rundown on polygraphs. If you want more information, you can go to my Sex Help with Carol the Coach show and scroll down and look for my interview with Mike Turk, the polygrapher. Or you can go to the AppSats radio, and that website is www.blogtalkradio.com forward slash Betrayal Recovery Radio. And we actually interviewed in July a polygrapher, and you'll find out more about that show. Take a listen to it and get the information that you deserve. You know, it can be very expensive if you live on the coast to do polygraphs, but in here in Indianapolis, it's only $250 for five questions. That's a drop in the bucket when it comes to his accountability and your mental health. Okay, if you have questions, you can always email me at carol at carolthecoach.com. And I encourage you to listen to both radio programs because they're incredibly good. Lots of information. And I'm the host. All right, you make it a great week and think about what it is you need if you're the addict to recover strong and if you're the partner to recover from the trauma of loving a sex addict.